Hey, I'm down playing with a new gun. Well, I shouldn't say new. It's uh, made in 51, but it's a Winchester 94. And this is chambered in 32 Winchester Special. Now, I've been trying to sight this baby in using this Hornady rubber tipped crap. And she's been a little wild. I don't know if I can blame the ammunition or, you know, it's got a Williams peep sight on it. And I think somebody has just been screwing with them screws because she was shooting. You were at 100 yards, about, well, foot and a half high. And uh, about four inches off to the side. But I'm whittling her down. Uh, nice little gun. I should explain, you know, a, a 32 Special is really... It's like a, a 3030 that has the neck expanded on it. In fact, they used to do that with 3030 shells. And it shoots a, a 321 bullet. Uh, the idea behind them, when they made them, you know, 3030 was for smokeless powder. And what they did with the 32 Special was made it, the rifling is different. It's 1 in 16 instead of the 1 in 12, like the 3030 is. The idea was it would be useful for black powder and cast bullets. And that's why it appealed to me. It just gave me a few more options because I had been looking for a, a something in a 30 caliber carbine and this kind of caught my eye. And I, I like it. I'm really not too sure on this peep sight if I'll leave that on or not. But the gun itself is a very nice gun. You know, I like the old ones, you know, steel butt plate and crap. You know, they're just a well-made gun. But she's going to take a, a lot of ammunition to get her sighted in. I can see that. And I can see this Hornady stuff. You know, you can look at the primer, you can see they're running pretty hot. But I got the stuff ordered to reload, so when that gets here, which will probably be tomorrow, I'll start reloading for these. And then I, of course, use regular jacketed bullets. I got some spear coming, but uh, I think I like this. I think it's going to give me a lot of options. You know, I like the idea of able to shoot the cast bullets. I got to find the right mold for it, which might be a bit of a trick. I might have to do some modifying. But I'm going to load some up with that 4064 and a regular flat nose jacketed bullet and see how that works. So I'm not going to spend too much time sighting it in for these damn rubber tip things. But I like the gun. Uh, you know, nice convenient size. See, I'd been looking for something. You know, my 4570 is a little clumsy, a little big to haul around on the dog sled or on the horse. And my 22 Magnum is a little underpowered. So I wanted something, like I say, in a 30 caliber. And I'd always been thinking 3030 if I could find one. You know, I'd been looking for a Marlin with the straight grip, you know, because that's, again, I kind of got a bug about that. I like the straight grip. And most of the Marlins you run into have got that pistol grip. But I like this, you know, normally when I run into these Winchester 94s, they're all, uh, you know, the newer ones that were, you know, built really poorly. You know, and I looked at a lot of the other, you know, the newer carbines, you know, like they've got the Henry and Rossi makes them and there's just all kinds of them. Uh, even Wasberg has one. But None of those appeal to me like these old guns appeal to me. I just got to get, and I like the idea that I can, you know, that I could reload with black powder and cast bullets. You know, that's a nice option to have. But I'll see if I'm getting any closer on that elusive target out there. I've been screwing on these adjusters, but I think somebody had really been screwing on them. But like I say, if I don't, if I'm not happy with this Williams feet sight, it's got the blank in there, and I actually ordered the regular buckhorn sight, so I might end up switching to that. You know, this peep isn't bad visibility-wise, but I've got to be able to hit something with it.
So, you know, there's something to that i got to get used to with this Winchester. Okay, when I levered it, I didn't go far enough. So I levered till it ejected, but i got to go to that extra last click to get that elevator up. See, you know, my Marlin, it always goes through, but the Winchester, that's a different deal. i got to get that extra click in there. But I think I'm only about you know, four inches high. So I must be turning her the right way anyway. Like I say, I don't want to put too much effort into this because as soon as I put the other bullets in, it's going to be all different. You know, these quantity ones are light. But like I said, they got them loaded heavy. I mean, you look at the primers, and she's pushing them primers. But I think they figure they got the hot ammunition. Yeah, that little extra click is what I got to learn to do, or it doesn't lift up. But in the heat of the chase, of course, you'd be slamming that thing back and forth, so it wouldn't matter. But that's the new gun.